and sit in our hammock in a bucket seat. Yes, yeah, like I told you, we can do uh, we can do more more flowy things in these ones because we have a lot more fabric. So we're just gonna get started with a gentle seated twist. So we're gonna cross our right leg over our left and reach our right arm forward, reaching our left arm back, and just start to gently twist your spine. Get a little bit of a swing going. You can just kind of enjoy that feeling. Spin that around. Spinning. Bring your hands down so that your right hand comes to your knee. So you can give yourself a little bit of a push to turn even more. Just give yourself a little bit more of a twist in that spine. Starting to warm it up. And twist, it's important to still think about belly button to spine, still holding your core. And gently release forward. Switching the legs, left over right. And when you're ready, switching forward with the left hand. Right, so if we're just starting out, don't force anything in this position. Just be gentle with your body. Let it warm up. Breathing deeply. Bring your hands down. Left pushing against that knee. And give yourself a little bit more of a deeper twist. And gently releasing forward. Arms can come to the outside of the hammock. We're just going to lean ourselves back. And you might want to just push the hammock forward a little bit, so bring your heels in and lift and push if you need to. You do want your feet out, though. I 
do want to have your knees out of the hammock. So if you have to scoot your legs down, that's like impossible. <laughs> you know, it might work without it, but I'm not sure how well. <laughs> so this, you should have said that before thunder. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry. It's probably because the way I was sitting, my knees were out, so I didn't think about it. My knees are out, my knees are out, but I don't know if I'm sideways or... No, no, you're good. Okay, I have to turn it like a worm. There we go, Billy, you got it. <laughs> a little further, so you're straight forward. <laughs> I'm ready to get out and just lay in the other way. You can try that too, if you want to slide in, for sure. Go for it. Jeez, I, I feel like I'm not straight, though. No, no, you're good. You're good. Oh, it's oh. swinging.
one more forward and back. Nice to the side. 
arm comes in front, arm comes out. Lifting your toes.
All right, quick refresher. Bring the hammock to your sacral spine. Tuck your thumbs in beside your hips. Stagger your feet. I like to come up on my tiptoes a little bit. I'm going to start to lean into the hammock, bring my weight into it. When I feel ready, the legs can come out. And in. Just because everybody did it so beautifully, I'm going to make you come out of it and turn around. <laughs> so come out. Just bring your knees up and feet down. We're going to turn around so that when you turn upside down, you can see me. So, can you know if this is a good spot? Because it kind of pinches a lot. Yeah, yeah. it's pinching the legs. Should I be higher up? No, that seems like a good spot. It's right above your butt crack is where it should be. Yeah. Okay, right there. As soon as I go down, this is going to crack. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Yes, good. And then bring your feet in together, hooking around. Yep. Yeah. Is that a little better? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, the lower you bring it, so right above your sacral spine is where it's most comfortable. That makes sense. I must have had it really high. <laughs> From here, when you're upside down, instead of just letting yourself hang there like, what I want you to do is engage your core, tuck your pelvis just a little bit, so that you're in a nice straight line in your spine, and you're opening those legs as much as possible. Then it becomes again a more active pose instead of a passive pose. Let's reach our hands behind us. You can interlace your fingers, reaching back, and opening up your shoulders. I have really tight shoulders, so I like to bring my hands here and open up so that I can open up my shoulders. At any time, in any of the poses, especially when you're upside down, if you start to feel dizzy or you start to feel like you need to take a break, definitely come out of it and grab some water. Yeah, 
keep it going. Go at your own pace. Two more. From here, gently lift one foot down. And let's just do a nice little stretch. Stretch that leg back. You guys are working hard. I can hear it. I love it. It's so long. <laughs> Alright, lift one more time in. Just to switch feet. And stretch back. Good. You can lift that foot out. And let's come back up to standing. Let's go upside down one more time. You don't go upside down. <laughs> um, you want to come to a porch? Yeah. So you guys are going upside down. If you feel comfortable, you can just get in it. You can just do a little stretch, just come through the middle, okay. lift it over your bum, yeah. and just sit in it, push forward, oh, I'm nice hold it now. anyways, turn all the way out, push forward and then straddle your legs up, okay, okay. So you just it up. no, sorry, oh, I was just giving her a modification, because oh. oh. she's not feeling up to going upside down today, oh. here, there we go, um, it doesn't really matter if you do want to see what I'm doing instead of just listen to what I'm doing. You can start that way like the you are. Yeah? Yeah. Whenever you're ready from here, 
you can come out of this pose, reaching up, grabbing the fabric, knees in, toes down. Staying in the fabric while the blood recalibrates itself. And I can come out of my sauna. You can come out of your sauna. <laughs>
suspended plow. Now you can also reach the leg straight up. Straight up to the ceiling. Use those stomach muscles to hold yourself up there. Hook your right foot in. So hook it the other way, Carly. Hook one foot in and around. Yep. Oh, just the foot. <laughs> yep. The other leg. So the left leg can reach forward. And you can let your legs open up nice and wide. And if you want to bring your body a little bit forward as well, this is a bow and arrow. Try both sides. Yeah? Yeah? Let's drop it a little bit more just in case. There you go. Another one to come forward. Yes! Sorry. No worries. So <laughs> Alright. If you're done with this one, let the toes come forward again. I want you to control, 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 and then come down, 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 nice and slow to the floor. And you stand up. Yes! Ah. All right. Should I go up and go again before I have to the left or after? Um, up to you. I mean, I don't think it's going to hurt you either way. As long as you're just gentle, don't like jump back into it. No. Oh, you're close to the floor. All right, you guys deserve a nice relaxation, I think. What do you think? Well, this is really good. <laughs> Stretching that fabric out. Come and sit. Lean back. Heels in. Push out. Find whatever spot feels comfortable. I like to bring my head in the fabric as well. <laughs> Now I can feel like a caterpillar in its cocoon. And just relax here. Let this room just fade away. Breathing deeply. Any last tight spots. Do you like to swing? Do you like to swing? some gratitude for making it here today. In my books, just for showing up, just for being here, you already get a gold star. Anything else that comes after is just extra. Giving your body a treat, and self care, and working it and stretching it and breathing, and just being conscious this moment, right here and right now.
letting everything melt away, slip away, letting it all go. deep breaths. Be sure to let any last bit of tension melt away. Every exhale, relaxing your muscles, relaxing your mind. Very last, deep inhale. Yeah. <laughs> 